Inga has brought you downstream on the Waikanae Awa and she's been searching for invertebrates. It was a bit of a process, tell us about how that works. Yeah, so um, to collect the invertebrates you, you can use a, what's called a kick net. So you just stand out in the middle of the stream and put your net on the ground and then sort of kick the rocks and the stones and the sediment in front of it and all the little bugs will float down into the stream, into the net, sorry. And you might not have a flash kick net like this one, but I'm sure you could make something that worked just as well. And of course, looking under stones can be effective too. What did you find? So, um, we have found some mayflies uh, and uh, some caddisflies, both uncased and ones in cases. So with those particular species, what does it tell you about this hour? So those species like to live in relatively clean water, so that tells me that uh, this river is pretty, pretty good water quality and pretty clean. Um, if we were to say have lots of snails and worms, that would indicate that the water quality is probably quite poor, um, which can be due to a number of reasons, so runoff and sediment and nutrients, much of which we talked about in the earlier video. And you might be able to find these credit identification cards online. So uh, the water actually looks really clear and clean as well. Is that something that you look for in terms of observing water quality? Yeah, so there's definitely, a, um, bugs are just one way of monitoring the water quality. Some of the other ways uh, is by looking at the water itself. You can use a, a fancy clarity tube um, if you have access to one. Uh, a lot of the Enviro Schools groups and uh, Enviro Schools coordinators might be able to help you out with that. Um, but you can also just sort of stand and look in the river itself um, and as you can see here you can see a lot of the stones pretty clearly um, and a lot of the stones they're really big and, and chunky rather than a lot of the fine sort of sediment which settles in between the stones. Um, so that's another way. Um, one other thing that you can do in terms of monitoring water quality is to look at the algae. So algae is a really good indicator of whether a stream has got good or bad water quality. Um, thin fine mats mean pretty good quality. Lots and lots of long or um, slimy algae suggests that it's probably quite poor. And so as you can see here, if I pick up a rock, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of algae on it at all. Some of them there'll be a slight green tinge, but other than that, again, that suggests that it's pretty good water quality to me. Well, that's a great sign and cool to think that anybody can do this kind of testing on their local hour. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, no, it's very easy and I would highly recommend to, to get out and, and monitor your own river. Um, and I would suggest doing it more than once because then you can see whether there's changes um, and, and have a look around and see what other things in the area that might be influencing those changes if you do notice that the bugs are changing. Mm, good idea. Kia ora.